Okay, we want to show this part first. On the left hand side is Renew 1. And on the right hand side is Renew 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Part 24, Dexterity, Listen. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting and sharing and presenting Metaverse music work. Multiple interpretations were evident in the responses, and compositions in four parts have become a thing in this series. Case in point, we just completed a presentation where there were uh, a talk on teamwork, there is a talk on debriefing teams, there is a talk on metaverse, and a talk on music. And we did that, and we took a movie of it, and for example, here's the part on team objective. It is what you do. And we were writing this script that's here in the bottom right, and those slides got produced in an earlier series. Then we had the students come up and they were debriefed live over here you can see the debrief questions you saw us setting that up uh, actually you didn't see us setting it up that was all set up offline but we're showing you what it looks like now because we're allowed to this is the what is the metaverse updated slides which we spent a lot of time in this series and the script that goes with it adapt adjust and here on the right then we finally moved ahead to the our personal favorite the music in 3d here somewhere yeah here where they're playing and um, playing these color scales again we had to set these up offline from the stream because they're in second life and we're not allowed to stream second life live but we can certainly show a recording here's a little bit of it so this is what it's like when you start to norm to make norms, agreements on who's going to do what. So we use that to illustrate the idea, the ideas of the parts of teams. So that worked out pretty well. Um, we still have more work to do. We reflected the awareness of work as a state of creative tension. Sometimes it seems more tense than we really enjoy. And sometimes we're in the flow and it's cool and time disappears. Um, and it seems to alternate or we feel both all at once. Um, uh, how to further distinguish and recognize the work we're doing in this series that is online and offline in metaverse and music. You know, things are getting complex and we've had that happen before and we've learned how to adapt and improvise and grow to reflect that. And also something that we call Studio 2. So let's talk about Studio 2. So Studio 2, which we shared in a uh, earlier, is the idea that we have um, we have our main work area, which is out here in the kitchen with our main heavy-duty computer. And then we have a lighter work area in the back bedroom, which is our older computer. But our key step MIDI sequencer is there also. And rather than move the key step back and forth, back and forth, we've been trying just working with it offline in the back room. And so we came up with these two compositions, which we're going to play for you at the end. So the key thing that we did there was begin distinguishing what's the difference. It's work offline at night in the back, noodling with the new tools, Keystep, Ableton, Digital Producer, as well as MuseScore. It's, it's just a different environment. And sometimes it seems like the compositional ideas are much more memory triggered. Today, what we did, we reviewed that movie, made sure it was good quality. It is, uh, we, we continued those compositions we're gonna play for you. Uh, and then we did a, we're, we're prepping ourselves for a brand new presentation, which is, is this one up here. Um, these are the four ch chapters of the, of the four part presentation. And we also, in our mind, kind of made this conceptual comparison. In the metaverse, when we give presentations, we have a purpose, we have an 
expected outcome. What will they learn from it? What will they be able to do? We have steps to follow from beginning to end, and we have capabilities, resources in the background that get called forward as we do the presentation, like the piano kits. When we compose music, we think of a skeleton, which is usually a cadence or some kind of steady, moving, strong, and a backbone, uh, and the flesh and the skin. Uh, well, we call things like ornament and uh, backbone and melody and counter melody and shimmer and all that. But, but we have words for all that. So, and then we also, this is what we've done so far. The five metaverse compositions and the two renew compositions. And here's all the scales that we've used so far. And there are still two scales we haven't used yet, which is an idea for next time. Um, E, G, use two remaining scales. Now, speaking of using remaining scales, uh, another thing we did today is we worked with our Metaverse 4 and, or 5 and 6. So Metaverse 5, you heard before, it's pretty fully developed. It's got all these parts to it. And we, we actually recorded it and shared it and got good feedback on it with others. And it sounded like this. And it was built using this custom scale system, the Raga 2. And the trick we used is we went through and everywhere it says used here, we used that chord over here in Metaverse 5. But it turned out we didn't use all the possible chords. We used maybe half of them. So what we did today is we started a new composition called Metaverse 6, which has no other lines at the moment. They're all empty. I mean, we, we, we kept them there in case we're going to use the same lines, but there's nothing there. And it'll sound familiar. It'll sound like that similar pattern. Uh, but there's no contrabass part. There's the backbones have not been extracted to to you know if that's the skeleton at the top, there's no backbone down here and there's no shimmer flesh on top of it. Nevertheless, what we like about having done that is we successfully got all the remaining chords. So wherever it says also used, also used, also used, that became pushed into Metaverse 6. So literally, there's only 35 chords in this scale, but we have two modes. The first mode starts on C, the second mode starts on A flat, the same, same seven notes. Uh, and we used all the chords, so there's 70 chords uh, between five and six on the right. And, um, but they're, the order that they're put in is based on whether they were mode one cadence or a mode two cadence. So I'm sure that made a lot of sense, but anyway that was we we're, we're we're pleased with that so what we're going to do to bring us home is play the renew compositions the one that were done in studio two we're going to feature those today and there are two of them and these are using the custom uh, scale one one it's only a five note scale and it has a minor four note and a minor a major four note so here we go
So we had a lot of fun with that one. And here is Renew 2. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about these Renew compositions are several things. One is we still are tickled that we put worked on them in Studio 2. We, we noodled on the key step MIDI controller with MuseScore giving it sound until we picked out things that we liked by hand using you know the, the black and white keys. We used our custom scale that was programmed into the key step so that none of the other notes would play. And then when we found something we liked, we enabled, we pressed N so that MuseScore would start recording it. Um, and MuseScore, we don't record live, we record it in step mode. So everything is recorded as either steady half notes or six notes, I mean, uh, full notes or quarter notes. And then we kind of do it line by line by line. So we're working, our, our learning our way through um, using the controller to compose into MuseScore as well as good old mouse point and click. Uh, so we like that and we like the different timbres and textures and we like using a custom scale and we kind of like, we talked about the memory thing, since we grew up playing clarinet, um, this it just sounds just like when we played it. You know? And also we've got a little bit of jazzy stuff in there from um, things we noodled on the piano as well as on the clarinet and or heard. So our ideas for next time are to keep, uh, where are we up here? Ideas for next time. We want to keep working on Metaverse 6. You heard us just play the part of it. We've got, we've got it all the way laid out from beginning to end. It's at least as long as Metaverse 5, which is a goal. Um, we want to add backbones and identify sections. Um, since we did come up with a new Raga scale, we want to compare that to the old Raga scale because the old, what we call the old Raga scale is actually, it's this one, CSO2, and this is the new one. So we'd like to compare them side by side. See the little R in there, 3443R, and this is 2332R, uh, and the and the mode is a 3443R. So we want to compare them side by side. There's just one or two notes difference, but when we came up with them, the, the first one a while back and this one and this series, they have such evocative uh, Eastern feel to them, and it's kind of surprising that they both do that. So we want to compare that a little bit more. And we are working on a new composition in four parts. Shout outs to Sonatus, to John, and to Happy Face. Thank you for your feedback. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.